Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV, stage number four, Volta Espana in the books. Race leaders, red jersey playing hot potato across three teams so far. BMC getting it now with Darwin Adapuma after Movie Star and Ruben Fernandez had it yesterday. Team Sky between Peter Kenna and Michael Kwiatkowski. So uh, four stages, four different race leaders. Stage win taken out in uh, really impressive fashion by Lillian uh, Kalamejan of the Direct Energy Squad. Brilliant result, but for me, um, the uh, uh, just below the headlines, the way the Cannondale perhaps put their money on the wrong horse uh, down at the racetrack. Um, Pierre Rolland hired this year to be the GC leader in the Grand Tours, including the Tour de France. Um, Pierre Rolland's Tour de France did not go as, uh, as had been um, hoped for by any stretch of the imagination. Team worked for Roland, and uh, in spite of a couple of crashes, which, you know, it happens, um, but a pretty disappointing Tour de France for Roland. So he finds himself in the Vuelta, and uh, a stage win on today's stage would have gone a long way in redeeming Roland and rectifying the lack of results during the Tour de France for the Cannondale squad. And so Ben King put everything on the line for Pierre Roland to get the stage win. And in the end, it was Ben King, <laughs> after doing all of that work, got third on the stage, barely losing the sprint for second to Darwin Adapuma, and had done an incredible amount of work for Roland throughout the stage. And I think, in my humble opinion, um, if Roland had been doing the same work for Ben King, Cannondale would be celebrating a stage win tonight rather than a lot of long faces at the dinner table and having a solid third place ride for, by Ben King, but a stage win is what pays the bills in the Grand Tour or a high placing in the overall standings. Um, Roland already <laughs> over 10 minutes behind in the overall standings, so um, We'll see who they work for in the stages to come. It'll be very interesting. Um, uh, to be honest with you, having been in that situation a few times in my career, and when you work for somebody and uh, they don't produce, uh, that is bad for the morale. You still do your job, um, but the team, if, if they're prudent, if they use their resources wisely, they come up with wins. And that's what the winning teams do. Um, they identify who's racing well, clear objectives based on realistic expectations and perfect execution. That's what wins bike races. Not for working for a guy that's gonna get dropped. That does not win bike races. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the rest of the Vuelta is going to be very interesting. So keep your eyes on the Cannondale guys. And let's see if they can actually get a stage win at this year's Vuelta. All right, everybody. <laughs> Maybe a lot to digest. Um, but uh, subscriptions, they're great. I need those. Comments, bring them. Keep them coming. Love the comments. Uh, you can buy t-shirts. And uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks a lot, everybody.